guys, today I have a new Project 5 uses. Um, we have quite a bit here to talk about that I pulled out for today's update. And a lot of this stuff I used a long time ago. Like, I am so behind on filming these because I've been going through these products really quickly. If you haven't been following along with this series, what I'm doing is whenever I have a new item, before I put it away in my collection, I want to use it five times and then come on here and talk about it. And then it can go into my collection. So I get a lot of new products because I have problems. Um, but some things are actually hard to use five times. Like I've had this red, this isn't in this update, but this red liquid lipstick for years and it's still, it's still not at five uses yet. But like, how often do I wear a red liquid lipstick? Not very often. Um, but anyway, Let's get into today's update. I have a few things pulled out. Let's go kind of in order of how I would put them on my face. So first I have a primer. This is the Yensa Tone Up Essential Glow Face Primer. I really liked this. It was definitely more moisturizing than I thought it was going to be. Like it's a thicker, um, let me put some on my hand. It's definitely like a thicker product than I thought it was going to be. It's more moisturizing and it definitely gives you like a really good glow. I really enjoyed this. I'm glad this is in my collection. Um, this was a like BoxyCharm item that I picked up and I'm really liking it. Everything I've tried from this brand so far, I've really enjoyed. So it has me intrigued. Um, but another new primer in my life which is okay because I've been going through primers. But anyway, I really liked this one and I got a good deal on that one. It was very, fairly cheap. The next item we have is another one I got off BoxyCharm, I think. It's either BoxyCharm or, or Marshalls. This is the Bite Change Maker Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder in Light 2. It's just a face powder. Um, This one I've had in my closet waiting for a while. I used this one a while ago, but I do remember liking this. It's it's just a face powder, but I do like this one. This one gets a lot of good reviews on YouTube, so I was excited to try it out, and it's good. It's nothing special, though, I don't think. I think I would need to use it more on a daily basis to be able to tell, like, if it's super special or not, but I did like it. It's not bad. Next, we have a blush from Benefit. This is Benefit Georgia, and this was on the BoxyCharm site. I definitely picked it up because the name Georgia. I'm currently living in Georgia, and yeah, I just thought it would be kind of like something cute to have in my collection to remember my times living here, um, but this is the blush. It's a very popular color. It is just like a nice peachy coral. It gives you a little bit of a glow. I really liked it. It was a really easy blush to wear, not something crazy pigmented. Let's see if that shows up right there. But definitely a really just pretty, pretty color, especially in the summer. Like I really, I really enjoyed this blush. I'm glad I have it in my collection. We have a highlighter from Becca. This is Vanilla Quartz. I've already used, I have so many Vanilla Quartz, I feel like. Um, I have a mini of this as well. It's one of my favorites. And so when I found a full size at TJ Maxx, of course I picked it up because I've been collecting Becca highlighters when I find them. And I love them. They're so pretty. Right there is Vanilla Quartz. It's a very like, it's actually like a really good color for my skin tone because I am pale, but it gives you more of a gold reflect like a champagne -y gold reflex, and I really like it. It's really pretty, so I bought it. Almost done, I have two palettes here. First, we have a face palette. This is the Ofra On The Glow palette, and this, again, was a BoxyCharm item. Most of my shopping is through BoxyCharm, if you have not yet to notice that, but this is the palette 
crazy good deal on this. I think I paid like $10 for it and it retails for over a hundred, but this is what it looks like. Six full size products. We have some very popular shades in here. It's upside down. Let's see. <laughs> so I can read it a little bit better. Very popular shades. And I don't think I have any of these. This was really my first experience with Ofra um, highlighters, which are very popular, but we have the blissful we'll go in order we have blissful highlighter the egyptian clay bronzer americano bronzer um rodeo right here rodeo drive highlighter um beverly hills highlighter and california dream triangle i really enjoyed using this um, the highlighters are stunning the bronzers are really nice and then I did even dip myself in the little blush over here um, I really like it and I'm I really like that Beverly Hills is in here because it's a little sliver of all of their popular highlighters so not only do I have a full size of Rodeo Drive and Blissful I have this one which has like all the other ones so this was like a steal on um, BoxyCharm. It's so good. It's so good. And it's, I love that you can pop the pans out. It's just so nice. It's so high quality. And I got it for such a good deal that I could not pass this up. And I've always wanted to try their face products. And I really haven't tried many, um, but I was really impressed. And then the last product I have here to talk about is my Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette. I love this little palette. I feel like most people do. This has been sitting in my closet for a while now too, so I'm definitely ready to get this back in my collection. Maybe hopefully roll it into a project. Um, that would just be by chance. <laughs> but I say that with like all my products though. I'm like, oh, I really want that one to roll in. <laughs> um but it's just stunning. This color, stunning. What's it called? Galaxia. And then Vintage Taupe, stunning. They're all so pretty. Vintage Taupe is just the perfect, like, muted, pink-toned transition crease color. It's so pretty. I guess we can do some swatches. Stunning. It looks, it's so boring, but it's just so pretty. And then this is the shimmery shade. It's just like one of those shades that it just looks wet on your eyes and it's so pretty. I just, I loved this little palette. It's so nice. It definitely deserves all of the hype that it gets. I really enjoy it. Um, but that is everything for today's update. Um, I liked everything in today's the only one that was just like meh it's okay is the bite powder but it's a face powder so I'm gonna use it I don't really have strong opinions about face powders so that's really the only reason why um but that's everything for today's little update I hope you guys like this video definitely stay tuned for more and be sure to like comment and subscribe down below for more we are so close to a thousand subscribers and I'm really hoping to get over the hump here soon um, but that is going to be everything. I hope you guys, again, like this video. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye, guys.